What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to another one of our previews. Well, we've got four Kentucky Derby prep races coming up this weekend. Let's go to Santa Anita Park for the preview of this one. It's the Robert B. Lewis Stakes. It will be Saturday, February 3rd, race five on the card. A field of nine line up for this one. Six of them can get Kentucky Derby points. Of course, Bob Baffert, no horses left his barn, so three of these will not be able to get Kentucky Derby points. That's wind me up, uh, Coach Prime and Niso. So, of course, let's get right to it. I'm going to go with the Bob Baffert uh, trainee here to kick us off. I'm going to go number six, Nisos, on top. Before uh, I knew this horse wasn't going to run in the Kentucky Derby, he was number two on my Derby uh, top 20 list. So obviously very high on him, excited to see him back. It was a huge win on debut at Santa Anita, came back, won the Bob Hope in almost the exact same fashion. Both of those speed figures, you know, whether, whether you look at speed figures or you look at race replays or times or whatever, looks a lot better than anything else in this field. However, we have not seen the horse stretch out to two turns just yet. However, he should be able to do it. He's by Nyquist out of a Bernardini mare. Doesn't exactly scream sprinter. I mean, I think this horse going one mile shouldn't be much of a problem. So it is the first time he'll stretch out, though. That is the question mark. But I think the number six, Nysos, is going to be really tough. I've got him on top. All the way to the outside, the number nine, Scatify, is who I'll put in second. This horse has one race under his belt. That was a maiden special weight win at Los Alamitos. It was a pretty loaded race, uh, a lot of expensive horses in that race, but the best out of it was Scatify. He kind of came, uh, you know, came charging towards the front early in the race, kind of sat just off the pace and took over. So number nine, Scatify in second for me. The number five, Coach Prime, is who I'll put in third. Speaking of Los Alamitos, he was third last time out, beating the length at Los Al. Uh, he kind of had a wide trip throughout. That was his biggest problem. You know, he did come running on. He only got B at a length. Maybe with a little bit easier of a trip, he could have got the job done. So number five, Coach Prime, is who I'll put in third. And then finally, the number one, wind me up in fourth for Bob Baffert. He's uh, coming out of a fourth place finish in the Los Alamitos Futurity. He just didn't run very well there. He, uh, Listen, I think there's better races for him. The last time he was uh, at this track, and it wasn't the Breeders' Cup, he ran second, beaten uh, by Muth. You know, Breeders' Cup was a disaster. LaSalle, not great, but not awful. So I think he'll run okay. I've got him in fourth in this spot. But really, to me, it's all about the number six, Nisos. I put him on top. I think he'll be very tough to beat. Number nine, Scatify in second for me. Number five, Coach Prime in third. And the number one, Wind Me Up in fourth. All right. That'll do it for a preview of the Robert B. Lewis. One thing to mention, if it comes in like I said, that's three positions that will take away from Kentucky Derby points if if all three of those Bafferts are in the top four. So let's just keep that in mind. He's going to be able to steal a lot of points. He looks like he's probably going to get this race one one way or the other. So we'll see what happens there. So number six, Nisos on top. Number nine, Scatify second. Uh, number five, Coach Prime third. Number one, Wind Me Up fourth. That'll do it for our preview of the Robert B. Lewis Stakes live at Santa Anita. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're playing Santa Anita on Saturday. <laughs>